time before COVID, my travels had me in Salt Lake City, Utah one early spring. Good friend Dave Gibby Gibson asked if I would be interested in coming a day early so I could fish Crittenden Reservoir located some three hours west of Salt Lake City. I jumped at the chance as Crittenden Reservoir has long been on my bucket list. After spending the night in West Wendover, Nevada, we headed to Crittenden Reservoir, some one hour and 35 minutes away. David said the Coronament fishing should be good. I certainly hoped he was right. Thanks to my friends at Outcast Boats, I had one of their frameless, blow-and-go, Stealth Pro pontoon boats at my disposal. Things were coming together nicely. We had our boats inflated, and we were ready to go in no time. I began the day casting and retrieving a number 10 olive feather leech tied on using my usual non-slip loop knot to my Aqualux 2 clear intermediate line. Within a few minutes, my strip pause retrieve was soon interrupted by my first Crittenden rainbow. There it is, nice and simple. Just olive and black schlappen wrapped around a hook, and a little jig hook, a little copper flash of blue out the back. And that's what did the trick. Come on, Dave, hook up. What a wish, do. Oh, there you go, look at that. Not a boy. What you doing, Dave? What uh, what did you change to? Still got the uh, black and copper on the bottom. No, oh, big one or what's big? Ten. I know. Maybe they're coming up in the water. Seeing Dave's success using coronamids, I soon followed suit, quickly swapping out my feather leech and clear intermediate line for a floating line, indicator, and a team of coronamids. I switched to a small number 14 zucchini. Above that, I had a number 14 chromie. Scrappy. Into the net. Just pump this fish and it's crawling with coronamid pupa. Not sure if it'll show up on the camera, but it's chromed up and wiggling around. There's got to be 15 or 20 of them in there bouncing around. So coronamids are looking good. Smalls about 14s and 60. Back at it. Nice silver bright fish. Into the net. Beautiful fish. Got landing net stowed. Reach out. Right there. Oh, there we go. See, every time I screw around with the camera. Ooh, yeah, this one's uh, it's a nice one too. Some 
Big boys swam into the neighborhood. Push away the in you go. Oh shoot, fish on. <laughs> I want to thank Dave for taking me out to Crittenden and, and showing me this lake. I've heard so many good things about it. The rainbows I caught today were outstanding. Big, fat, and healthy. And uh, they love the coronamids we were feeding them. Uh, we tried switching up to leeches later in the day, but didn't have much luck. I got one break off. Uh, wind came up a bit uh, in the afternoon as well, and uh, made uh, things a little more challenging, but wind is fishing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like. If you like the videos you're seeing on my channel, please subscribe. If you hit that bell beside the subscription notification, that allows you to get notifications of future videos as well, so you don't miss any, whether it's vlog entries like this or the fly tying uh, videos on my channel. For more information about the techniques and tricks you saw on today's vlog, you can visit, sorry, download rather, our Stillwater fly fishing app, the one Brian Chan and I developed. It's a free download for both I iTunes and Google. Um, you can also uh, uh, catch some of the tying recipes for the flies I featured as well on my YouTube channel as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, vlog entry, and I look forward to seeing you on the water again soon.